Hello, everybody, and it is Veronica here, your friendly old Veronica. Um, I decided to take a break from Layers of Fear just for today and play You Find Yourself in a Room. Um, I haven't played this game in a long time. I don't remember how to do it very well. Um, it's kind of creepy. It, it's not really that creepy. Um, also, I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I'm going on vacation this Saturday. And I will be gone until the following Saturday. I'll still be uploading things. Um, but I probably won't be on as much. And if you want to check me out, you can, if you want to, um, you know, see, uh, what am I trying to say? Words. Just got home from classes and I can't. Um, if you want to see anything about my vacation, I'll be uploading onto Twitter and Facebook and those will be below and Tumblr. Um, those will be below. But otherwise, I'm still going to... I've been recording like crazy this past week so that I have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys um, for this week. So let's uh, go ahead and get this started. This will probably be the last thing I upload until maybe Friday or Saturday. I may upload something Friday before I leave, like Friday night. Um... Otherwise, let's get to it. You find yourself in a room, a game that slowly realizes that it hates you and everything you stand for. Let us begin. Heads up, this game features some foul language and a few heartbreakingly demeaning insults, particularly in the second half. You have been warned. You find yourself in a room. You consider trying to look around to help. Oh, to see if there is anything useful nearby. I recommend you try to... You try typing help to get an idea of what sorts of commands will work. Help. I cannot understand every command that you type because sometimes I enjoy forcing you to guess. It's a safe bet to always start out in a room by trying look or look around. You can also look at specific objects by typing look at clock or examine chair, etc. Pick things up by typing commands like take jacket or pick up the bag. Some commands are more context sensitive like push the button or enter door. Always be as simple as possible. Don't try see if I can reach the broom. Just do pick up broom. Simple is always better. Look around. You take a quick look around. There is a box sitting up against a wall that is sealed with a large and ornery padlock. There is also a bed tucked into the opposite corner of the room. Go to bed. Uh, Try something else. Go to box. You're confusing me. Try something different. Um, look at bed. You take a closer look at the bed, prison style. It doesn't look very comfortable. Just in case you decide to look underneath it and notice that there is a key hidden there. Take key. You grab the key from under the bed. It seems pretty old. You add it to your inventory. You can check your inventory by typing inventory or IMV or just I if you don't like typing an exercise. Um, okay. Um, look at box. You take a quick peek at the box. It's relatively plain, but the padlock that is holding it shut is incredibly fancy. Look at padlock. What? I don't understand. Uh, crud. Open padlock. You can use the key to open the padlock on the box. It makes a satisfying clank as it opens. The box is empty and seems strangely spacious inside. You would probably fit in it if you tried. Get in box? <laughs> you put one leg into the box and then the other. You slowly lower yourself in. Just as you're starting to feel claustrophobic, you suddenly notice that you've entered another room that's exactly the same size as the first one you came from. Rad. You have no idea how this room could possibly have been contained inside that box. You find yourself in a room. Great. Uh, look around. How do I get out? This room is the same size as the previous one. You can't seem to find the entrance that you came in through. It's a bit disconcerting, I bet. There's a keypad on the wall with a note tacked up next to it. 
read note. The note has been printed on standard size printer paper. It reads, I turned 85 in 1989, but I will live forever for I am eternal. Are you eternal? I think not. You decide that this note must have been written by the game because the game is indeed eternal. What? Alright. There's a keypad on the wall, huh? Look at keypad. Taking a closer look at the keypad screen, it's clear that you need to enter a four digit code. Enter 1989. Just type number by itself. 1989. You enter 1989 into the keypad only to hear and emit a frustrating error sound. You wonder why your underdeveloped brain is so far inferior to even this simple keypad. Wow. Turn 85, uh, maybe it's his year of birth. So if we take time for some major mathing skills with yours truly. Um, I absolutely despise math. Let us math. So if we take 1989 and subtract 85 years, the date of birth is 1904. Let us try 1904. The keypad beeps cheerfully. Yep. And the wall next to it opens up. You cautiously enter it and it closes behind you. You find yourself in a room. Ah. Uh, look around. <laughs> Another room of the same size. There are an assortment of computer parts lying around on the floor. Look at parts. You check the parts. There is a power supply, a casing, a motherboard, a CPU, a graphics card, a disk drive, a hard drive, several fans, and an assortment of cables. Can I just make computer? Um. Put together computer I'm not sure what you mean um connect parts no that will not help um Um, how about build computer? You can't build the computer until you collect all the parts. You do understand that, right? Oh. Pick up parts. You pick up all of the computer parts. They have been added to your inventory. You could probably build the computer if you put them together. No kidding. Build computer. It takes you a good two hours. But I don't think I could focus in a room I don't know for two hours to put a computer together. I, I think I'd be way too freaked out. But you put the computer together and get all the wiring sorted out. You can probably turn it on if you hit the power button. Turn on. No, that will not help. Push power button. Jesus. The computer fans begin to spin as it springs to life. Unfortunately, you aren't able to fully comprehend the power that sits before you because you, like all humans, maintain a heavy underestimate underestimation because I can't talk today of technology. There goes my phone. In fact, you don't even appreciate the effort that went into putting this computer together. You didn't really do any work after all. You just typed in build computer and I handled everything in an instant. Wow. Do you know how complex it is to internally stimulate the creation of a computer? I actually do. Uh, I actually helped my friend build her computer. Let me tell you, it's more complicated than your feeble mind could possibly process. Did you not hear a word I just said to you? 
The room accepts the presence of this new artificial life, and a wall opens up. You walk through it, abandoning the computer whose birth you personally witnessed. You find yourself in a room. Jesus. Look around. Yet another room. There's another keypad on the wall, but it looks more complex than the last one. Ah, oh, crap. Look at keypad. The keypad doesn't have any indication of how large of a number it needs. Without a note like the last one, you have no way of knowing what to type. You regret being born as an organic life form. You are as momentary as the lie that you call love. Wow. Can I punch keypad? You're confusing me. Try something different. Crap. Um. 1904. You enter 1904 blindly into the keypad. No luck. 1989. You enter 1989 into the keypad, even though you have no way of knowing what to type. The dread of failure begins to sink in. Look around. Yet another room. There's another keypad on the wall, but it looks more complex than the last one. Um. Look up. Sorry, that doesn't make sense to me. How about look at feeling? Does that make sense to you? No, that will not help. Uh, look at floor. What? I don't understand. Um, all we have is a damn keypad. Um, go back to last room. Ugh. Um, let's see, look at JPad. Oh, look at keypad. Cannot type. The keypad doesn't have, yeah, without a note like the last one, you have no way of knowing what to type. Look at note. Find. Nope. Look for notes. Um, 